Hey guys, D Mike here, and welcome back to another episode of Mega Man X2, the sequel inning. Hope you're all doing well. Last time we went to the dinosaur tank stage and beat off the wheel gator. It was really easy. And today, we're going to follow that up with another Maverick. I don't know how many of these I'm going to do in a row. I guess it really depends upon how long it takes me to be successful at these levels, but I've also realized is that some of these Super Nintendo Sundays episodes are going a little long, and if you want a nice mwah, just a nice chef's kiss amount, then maybe one Maverick per episode is the right way to go. Now eventually, I will have to re-enter these stages to go back and get the subsequent items that I need in order to fully beat the game off. And I think that there's like some special bosses that you have to do in order to get the best ending, which I will be trying for, surprisingly. But for now, we're gonna head to this deep sea base. The boss is the Booble Crab. So let's go ahead and do that. One of my favorite things about this level, which I don't really have any experience playing, but the music is a pretty iconic track that gets used again. Very unoriginal of Capcom, but you'll hear this song in Mega Man X5 in the illustriously named du oops, Duff McWhalen, named after Buff, Buff, Duff McWhalen, Duff, I don't know, something, oh, come on, so much for this being a uh, decently paced episode, these keys are killing me, stop it, get over here, go here, there we go, I have no sugar for you. But now with our spin wheel, we can pop down here and get a very much needed life. Get a life. One of the things that you will notice in this level is beyond my control. It was due to the hardware limitations of the Super Nintendo at the time. So we'd love to see if we can get some more. Okay. I'm trying to get life. And as I do that, I'm just eating damage here. The rest of this level is completely foreign to me so i'm hoping that i'll do okay no promises here's the gimmick of this stage it's a fish and this fish is very annoying and full of slowdown so just be warned um this is not my fault this is literally just because of the way that the game was programmed the super nintendo just didn't have the horsepower for it at the time now, one of the things you need to be careful of is this fish has a little radar that it will routinely be shining at you. And if that catches you in the crosshairs, it will do damage and quite a bit of it too. So just be mindful of that. There we go. Looks like the fish is showing us some mercy. There we go. Blow it off the bottom. Whee! I'm going to jump way over here though. First is this. Now I think, if I'm not wrong, those little pylons that you saw floating in the water, I think if you jump, is it from here? One of these spots, if you jump from it, you can, okay. <laughs> Clearly I'm doing well. This is from a little bit of research, so call this a cheese if you want, but I'm trying to land on one of those. If you do, you get a bonus. Wait for it. Now the key here is me actually being able to do this. Okay, so I have the right idea and I'm gonna keep doing this until I get it because I'm stubborn. Ugh, almost, okay. So it looks like the top of the wall, jump off using your your boots. Get a little bit, whoop. There we go, okay. So this is not really the intended way to do this. But that is a heart tank. There are more collectibles in this stage, I believe. But I am not capable of getting those yet. This also apparently leads to something too, but I don't have probably the right item to get it. So one of the things that you'll notice in this stage is there's a lot of kind of holes in the wall. I'm being very conservative with the way I'm playing. So I'm very unfamiliar to this and I would like to not die. So woo. Got some jellyfish. 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 Deep cut. 
Give him a glass of milk. All right, so I'm just trying to be careful here. Oof. These guys do a decent amount of damage. Also, one of the things I was reading recently is like box jellyfish, that's what they're called, are uh, like super poisonous, venomous, whatever. I think poisonous is the one where if you touch it, it hurts you. Venomous, I think, is if it bites you, maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, apparently it'll really get you good. So you don't want to touch that. Am I in the right area? I have no idea what I'm doing. Full disclosure, I'm not gonna lie and pretend like I know anything about this game, because I don't. That was lame. There you go. How to lure him down here. Come play in the mud with me, boy. All right. So far, so good. Oops, didn't mean to do that. These enemies are very stingy with their energy drops, which is pretty annoying. Oh, the respawn, the respawn, no. I hate that that's what happens to me sometimes when I play, that was lucky. When I play this, should have jumped, is that I get the energy upgrade or like the refill from killing something and then I immediately blow it by taking damage, really invalidates the whole, the whole process. Okay. That looks like a boss door. Why is this here? Okay, well, oops. I'm assuming that this is it? That can't be the stage, was it? Yeah, that's one of the things that I'm noticing about this game in particular in relation to... Man, this might be it. Is this the Booble Crab? Oh, it is. I'm going to try to fight him with the X-Buster for a second. But I obviously... Ooh, okay. But I obviously have the... Um, oh, never mind. Whoa. Okay. I obviously have the weakness to the Bubble Crab. Um... Which I blew. Oh, I'm not trying to be that, that guy or anything like that. I'm just curious to see if I can do it. One of the things I need to stop doing is uh, convincing myself that I can jump and dash. Oh, what are these? These little baby versions of himself? Look at these. Okay, well, clearly I'm doing great. All right, I've had enough of you. <laughs> All right, so that works pretty well, actually. Kind of nukes his shield a little bit. Ooh. All right, so, you know, first try. Not too bad. And that was without using the special weapon. And I don't really feel like I used that much of it. Yeah. That was like three little bursts. I'm gonna try it again without it just to see what I can do. I mean, technically, I guess you could fight every enemy this way if you wanted to. up to you but it is kind of tough to try to fight this guy while holding the oh so he he goes he goes right for these for these boys okay gotta probably clear the uh clear the arena here it is really tough to hold this and also try to jump <laughs> this is not easy there we go oh i just completely whiff on it whoa what exactly are the things that are coming out of his head? Not 100% sure. But he's really weak to this. Got him. Yeah, the spin wheel's pretty nice. If I knew how to use it correctly. This just feels like mutually assured destruction at this point. I'm not really doing a, not doing a great job of attacking him. But I have, I have no shame in this. I mean, like, whatever. Call me whatever. I mean, I'm doing really poorly, actually, but... You saw the intent, viewers. You saw the idea. How many lives do I have? Two more shots. This. Still barely using any of the spin wheel, which is nice. I'm going to keep at it because I suck at this game. Never said I was good at these. I am trying, though. Don't get me wrong. Oh, we didn't start with the bubble right away? Oh, man, I got to really stop just eating damage here for no reason. Yeah, that's the thing that's really that's really tricking me, is um, is not giving up on the uh, not giving up on the jump instead, which I should be doing. 
And then me just hit him with lemons. Lemon heads, nachos in my dad's boat. Oh. And he does that, that little jump fake. That's so sneaky. Okay, we got these. Okay. I mean, I feel like that's probably probably good enough. He gets hit multiple times with that. I'm curious if there's a way to like cancel yourself out of that animation of using the spin wheel. There we go. I got you, sucker. Yeah, I don't. Oof. There we go. We're doing a little more better. Yeah, he's almost down. Yeah, no. Like I said, no shame in using the special weapons. I'm not gonna be one of those guys who's like, I only used the Blister to fight him. I I couldn't care less. I just want to. I'm just trying to beat this game off in like a timely manner. There we go. That wasn't too bad. And this episode's like right in the sweet spot of how long I wanted it to be. I'm gonna try to do these revisits when I have the right items to do it in ways that make sense. Like I'll probably do a revisit to gather bonus items in the same episode that I will do a Maverick fight. Hopefully I have like the right amount of them. The Booble Splash. I actually think you do need this um, to get to get one of the upgrades. I think maybe I'm not 100% sure, but story. I see why you whatever you know. That's pretty great, and I don't know how often I'm gonna care about this story or who these fellas are, Sir Sergus. Circus, Agile, and Violin, whatever your names are. Are you members of an orchestra, perhaps? Ooh, Intervene. Okay, so apparently this is a mechanic in the game where after every two Mavericks you fight, I think, you get interrupted by this. Dr. Kane! Do you think his middle name is Candy? That wouldn't make sense. Kane Candy, that was stupid. All right. A group of Mavericks calling themselves the X-Hunters just contacted us. So they have all of Zero's parts, apparently. They're touching his parts. Don't do that. We have to go and defeat these three mid-boss kind of guys. And um, so to resurrect Zero to get the best ending... We gotta get his parts back. Also, I apologize for scrolling through this. I'm literally just tapping the button one time. But there's a, a passcode if you want it. So these three bozos are gonna show up. Uh, I think that they show up at stages that have the... Uh, I'm not trying to spoil these. Um, the Sigma thing on them. So it's not at either of the first two that we did. So not at Wheel Gator or the Deep Sea Base. And they have like a special sneaky secret part of the level that you have to get to in order to find them which we will be doing another time i don't know exactly what i'll do the research to figure out how to do this because i have no clue but beyond that that's today's episode so thanks for watching everybody i've been d mike this has been super nintendo sunday's mega man x2 and i'll see you next time for more bye